What it do? This is Osiris, and uh, I got me some new mouse gates for my Logitech G400. They're uh, from Pure Track Perfect. They're called Pure Track Perfect Light HD mouse gates. And uh, the ones I had to take the ones I had off of mine because I have the infamous loose wire usb loose wire problem on my g400 uh and when i did that i peeled the sticky part off and uh, j j they just wouldn't go back on so i got me some new ones and i'm putting them on as you can see here uh they came i got these off of amazon and they cost uh, six dollars plus i think shipping and handling but i i used amazon prime but uh as you can see, they came with two sets of mouse gates and uh, you connect them or you put them on with the 3M tape that's applied to the back of them. Right here, I'm scraping off the old uh, sticky stuff that it's on uh, the original mouse, on my mouse, that came off the original mouse feed, I mean. And in case you're looking for these, these uh, on Amazon or wherever you're looking for them, they're, they're also called mouse skates, so you might want to search for that also if you can't find what you're looking for. And if you have a G400 or G400S, the MX518 mouse skates will also fit on here. Uh, that's what I ordered, and they fit perfectly. But right here, I'm just trying to get all the, the white sticky stuff off from the old mouse feet. And right here, I'm peeling off the one that did not I did not have to take off when I was taking apart the mouse to fix the cord. Uh, it comes off pretty easily, you just lift up on one end and that's it. So, they also provided some um, alcohol pads so that you can get it nice and clean, which is uh, pretty good for six bucks. Uh, I'm very happy with the purchase. The, the mouse glides a lot better now on my uh, Steel Series, I think QTK mouse pad, which is pretty standard for a lot of people. But uh, the alcohol pad really cleans it up really nicely, it makes it really easy to get the stuff off. You want to make sure that you get all the, the dirt, the grime, the leftover sticky material. And while I was at it, I went ahead and cleaned the rest of the, the mouse off. It was, I've had this mouse probably about a year and it's, it's just the net, the oils and the dirt on your hand, it, it just kind of builds up after a time. So it doesn't hurt to take an alcohol pad and, and go ahead and clean it off every once in a while. And you don't have to worry about the leftover residue of the, the alcohol. Alcohol dries pretty fast and it's not harmful to electronics. Uh, so go ahead and do that if you're if you're also doing this type of uh, I guess you can call it modification and it's good to go. You want to make sure you get around the edges and the, the bottom and all that stuff. It, it builds up everywhere. Like even your mouse pad picks up dirt pretty easily because it's a cloth material. Not even if you're uh, even if you didn't have even if you don't have to replace your mouse feet, I, I recommend that you do this. Uh, they glide the new mouse feet skates glide a lot better. It feels uh, a little bit better, and it's and it slightly raises it off the mouse pad too, so you get less friction. And it's just all around better in my opinion. It doesn't cost you hardly anything. This is this is a very inexpensive mod to do and you should really check it out uh you, most popular gaming mice have uh mouse skates available you can check on amazon and frozencpu.com and also probably newegg uh i think the most popular brand is hyperglide but since i wanted to order all the parts that i that i ordered at the same time i just got mine off amazon and i didn't see any hyperglide uh branded mouse skates on amazon but these, uh, like I said, these turn, these work out pretty good. Only thing that's weird about them is that they're kind of a light bluish tint, as you can maybe see in the video. 
Uh, but who looks at the bottom of their mouse anyways? Who cares? I don't really care. I would have preferred it in like black or something. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. So right here, I'm just uh, peeling off the paper from the 3M material on the back. Then you line it up as best as you can. What I did was I lined it up with the, the, the straight edge, not the curved edge, the straight edge so that uh, it'd be easier to just kind of like let it plop down in, in the place. And this is the first one I did. I think it slipped a little bit. Yeah. It slipped a little bit, but the, the 3M adhesive is not like insta stick. You, you have a little, uh, if you don't push it down, uh, it, it'll come up pretty easily again. But once you, but you obviously don't want to let it keep sticking to it and then uh, taking it off. Once you get it on there, go ahead and just press firmly across the the uh, the, the mouse gate and continue on. Once again, just line up that uh, straight edge like that and let it plop down on the other end and just firmly press down and make sure it's, it's on there pretty good. The last one doesn't have a straight edge, so you just kinda, you gotta kinda eyeball it, but it's no big deal. Drop it in there, straight as possible. And then just firmly press down one more time. And that that's it, There's really not much to it. It's a pretty easy mod to do. As you can see there, uh, the video will probably turn out white because of my, my camera. But uh, as you can see, they're pretty smooth. They're very smooth compared to their originals. Uh, the original mouse feet that came on it uh, and it slides really nicely even on the the wood on the wood table or on my mouse mouse pad so I like I'm really happy with this purchase and, and it's hard to find a good mouse so once you find one like I don't want to really want to go out and try other mice I don't want to buy another mouse did not like it my mice are not even mice are kind of expensive you know you're talking about 50 dollars and up for a decent gaming mouse so rather than uh just buy new, new mice and hope that it works i just fixed my old one and this works out great as you can see it's got kind of a, a raise it's a little bit more raised than the originals uh I'm trying to i'm having a hard time getting my lens to focus but see it's i don't know how big that is about what an eighth of an inch maybe i don't know uh, but it raised it's, it's pretty much raised up off the off the surface and that I, I think that actually uh makes it feel a little bit better also I don't know how to explain it but uh I, li I like the effect that it has there there's a, that now it finally focused But uh, anyhow, that's my my quick how-to, I guess, and follow-through. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. And if you like, like the video. If you don't like, don't care. <laughs> and then subscribe. Peace.